What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about the Update 37 preview we got yesterday, of course, from Zoss. Now, they didn't list every single detail in the kind of article they put on the forum, but they did talk about three big changes that are coming with Update 37. So I will link this article down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, they talked about screen narration. It says, Update 37 introduces screen narration, allowing you to have the majority of the game menus with some exceptions narrated as you navigate so you'll be able to change the uh, volume and the narration tone uh, of that uh, screen narration so if that's something that you would like to have uh, you know available to you that will be available in game with update 37 also you'll be able to have it in some different languages as well so english french german spanish japanese or simplified chinese so there's going to be different ways that you can kind of navigate that menu in the ui and actually have it narrated to you. Uh, one of the other things that they talked about is one of the things that people have been asking for for a really long time is the ability to hide your shoulders. This is also arriving as part of Update 37 is the Hide Shoulders option, a new cosmetic collectible that allows you to, well, pretty much hide whatever shoulder gear your character is currently wearing. This is pretty much common to the Hide Helm option we have in-game. This can be able uh, enabled when customizing your look in the outfit station simply navigate to armor style select shoulders and then select the hide shoulder style to enable the hide shoulder you must first acquire it by spending event tickets at the event vendor during any of eso's upcoming in-game events it says keep an eye out uh, for information on when the next event arrives and of course it says a hint it's a silly one we know it's going to be the jesters festival which will be coming up sometimes pretty soon uh, but this will be something you can buy with your event tickets i think this will be a good thing because a lot of people sometimes feel like their event tickets kind of just go to waste they don't really you know they have pretty much everything that is available and they feel like they have tickets left so you'll actually be able to buy this cosmetic item that will allow you to hide your shoulders in game like i said that's something that players have asked for for a really long time and said finally they squeezed in some new quality of life improvements for the housing system this includes a set of new filters for housing editors placement and the retrieval tab allowing you to place items specifically from your bank inventory house storage or collectible items that are bound or unbound and items by furnishing limit type that are that they fall under they've also added the ability to reset training dummies you're in combat with making it easier to restart a parse that is definitely going to be helpful. If you have a combat dummy, you know it's kind of a pain uh, if you're in the middle of you know trying or trying out a parse or testing something out or whatever the case could be, and you have to actually reset it. The option to reset that without having to go in the housing menu, pick it up, put it back down, would be a lot better. This improves your ability to see and manage who's in your home from the housing editor settings, and also includes real-time notification when a guest arrives or departs from your home, plus an option to kick occupants out if they're getting too rowdy in addition when stopping uh, or when shopping excuse me for a new house you can see a full list of furnishings that come with both the furnished and unfurnished versions before you buy it uh, which is a really great feature i think because you can see of course when you purchase a home if you're a you know someone that likes housing in eso you can see that it comes with furniture or it doesn't but we, as we know some of the unfurnished houses still come with some lights and a few things uh inside that home but you really don't know what is available uh, with that so being able to actually see a list will be a big thing it says that is just some of the highlights you can enjoy with the update 37 base game patch a host of further changes additions and improvements were not mentioned in this article and that includes updates to the target markers improving enemy player targeting and adding a new setting and realignment of the daily and weekly reset timers for your daily quest daily enlightenment bonus daily writs and more of course update 37 launches on pc and mac on the 13th of march and xbox and playstation on the 28th of march anyway guys let me comment your thoughts let me know what you think about update 37 let me know what you think about these three changes that i kind of went over here in the video and of course if you liked it hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace